Once you guys got another video on how to upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware the easiest way. Now this is a new way of doing it so I wanted to bring this to you for all those people that are out there using old computers that aren't compatible according to Microsoft uh, for Windows 11 upgrade. So if that is the case and that is you and you do want to upgrade to Windows 11 on your unsupported hardware computer then this video is for you. Now there's several methods that still exist on how to upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and I've covered a few of them on this channel already. Now I've already covered about the pros and cons about upgrading to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now it's important that you upgrade your operating system and to the max as you can see here it's fully updated i'm making sure that we've got every update available from microsoft for windows 10 before you start even thinking about upgrading to windows 11 from windows 10 using this method another important step is to make sure you've got all your data backed up just in case something goes wrong and at least you'll have a backup of all your data. Now Microsoft have already put up a post and I've already done videos on this about can I upgrade to Windows 11 and there's plenty of information here that you can go through. I'm not going to go through it too deeply because I have covered this in other videos. Check out my channel for some of the unsupported hardware videos and you'll get a good understanding about what is required. So you can check the minimum system hardware requirements that Microsoft have in place and these are quite strict and a lot of computers are not going to make the cut. And I've made videos explaining about what will happen at the end of October 14th, 2025, when Microsoft will see support for your Windows 10 computer and what options you have available to you. As you can see here, these are the system requirements that are required to run Windows 11. And unfortunately, a lot of people, millions of people, are not going to be able to install Windows 11 or even upgrade to Windows 11 officially. So you have to use the unofficial workaround, which is what I'm going to show you today. Now, of course, this has to be your own choice, and this has to be uh, something that you want to do yourself. I personally would not do it, but then I have compatible PCs that do support Windows 11, so this really doesn't affect me too much. But you can see this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. This is what a lot of people are going to get when they run the PC health check tool, which has been created by Microsoft. A lot of people are going to see that a lot of components in their computer are not compatible for Windows 11. We all know that it will run Windows 11, but Microsoft are saying that it's not going to run Windows 11 and they're not going to allow it to be installed. Now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty part about what can happen if you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. As it is for right now, you can still install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and you'll still get all your updates. But Microsoft have threatened to uh, cease security updates for the future for unsupported hardware. So what you're going to need to do if you want to continue and install Windows 11 on your computer, you'll need to download the Windows 11 ISO. Now, what's important here, if you want to keep your data, is to make sure you download the correct version, the correct language pack for this ISO. Otherwise, you will not be able to keep all of your applications. If you do want to keep those, it's important to choose English International or English United States or whatever other version you used when you installed Windows uh, 10 on your computer. It has to be exactly the same for you to be able to keep your programs. So I'm going to download uh, the international version because that's the version on this computer. And I'm going to download this ISO and I'm going to show you how simple it is. You don't need to create any bootable USB media. You don't have to do anything. All you're going to need to do is download this program, which is called Flyby 11. And I showed you this in a previous video, but he's upgraded it and it's made even simpler to be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now I already know that you can use Rufus and many other methods to be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. This is just another method and it's probably the easiest method that you're going to be able to use if you're not really computer savvy. And that means you'll be able to just use this method to be able to quickly drop the ISO onto the application as you'll see right here on this image right here. And basically, when you drop it on there, it does automatically uh, prep the ISO ready to be installed and upgraded onto that system and accept uh, the unsupported hardware, which will then allow you to upgrade to Windows 11 on that computer, which is not compatible. Now, that being said, 
as it is right now, you can still get all of the latest updates on that computer with Windows 11 on it for the time being until Microsoft decide to either stop updates for unsupported hardware or they do something uh, more sinister to stop you receiving updates. So as it is right now, you can still use Windows 11 on that old computer. You just need to download this application and download the Windows 11 ISO and I'll show you. So keep anyway is what you're gonna need to do here because obviously it's an unrecognized file and Microsoft have already blocked it, but it will run and it is safe to use. And you can see all the code that he has on this website. So next we have the two files, we have our ISO file and we also have the program. Just double click on it and you'll see a program that looks something like this that opens up and it says drag and drop the Windows 11 ISO to patch it and install on unsupported hardware. It's called an in-place upgrade and it's that simple. He's even got all your Q&A questions down here and answers for people that ask a lot of questions and it should answer them some of the most more common questions that people ask about this particular process. Is it legit? Are you allowed to do it? And all that sort of stuff. I've covered videos on this and it is completely legit. You're not going to get into any trouble or anything like that. Microsoft have left this back door open for people that do want to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware as it is of right now. They don't recommend you do it, but you can do it. That's the difference. It's entirely up to you whether you go ahead and do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the ISO onto that square and it's going to mount the ISO and it says hang tight and you should see a user account control box popping up. Then a blue screen will pop up, which is your PowerShell window. And there we go. We have Windows 11 installation can now proceed. Please uh, click on this to follow the on-screen instructions. You should see installing Windows Server. And it says on the actual application, don't panic. I've already mentioned this before, that it's not installed in Windows Server. It's a workaround for you to be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Microsoft will patch this eventually. When they do, I don't know. But as it stands right now, you can still use this method because it is still workable. And you can see here, I've speed all of this process up, but it's checking your PC to see whether it's okay. And now you can see we get a little message here. You have to accept this message and it will then go ahead and allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. You can see we've got choose what you want to keep here. The most essential part is keep your files, settings and apps. And this means we downloaded the correct Windows 11 ISO edition. If you've downloaded the wrong one, that will be grayed out and you need to go back and download the correct one. What it's going to do now is going to go off and get a few updates ready and make sure you're ready to install Windows 11 onto this system. It's then going to make sure that we have enough space on the drive to install uh, Windows 11. You can see it's just checking here. And now it says install Windows 11 Pro, and it's going to keep our file settings and apps. And if we're ready to go, we can now click on install, and it will go ahead and do an in-place upgrade on this computer and install Windows 11 on this computer, even though it's not supported for Windows 11, but it's going to allow us to do it. Now, you will see installing Windows Server. Don't worry, it is installing Windows 11. Like I said, this is the workaround that it's using to be able to use the in-place upgrade for Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So we'll speed through this, and you should see almost there, and we will be at the desktop of Windows 11 on the same computer. It's kept all our data, as you can see right here. And you've just uh, done an in-place upgrade of Windows 11 on your unsupported hardware, which is your old computer. Now, again, I've made videos about what you can do with that old computer, whether you want to install Linux or whether you want to pay for another year's worth of you know, updates, or whether you want to use this method to use it on unsupported hardware, it's up to you at the end of the day. Now, if you wanted to create a clean install, you can apply the compatibility patch to an ISO using the clean install line right here. You would have to have an already pre-made USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it. Click that, and it will then make that USB flash drive compatible with your old computer and be able to do a clean install rather than do an in-place upgrade. But that again is entirely up to you whether you want to go ahead and do it. Now just to address all the trolls that will leave comments in the comments section saying you want to make your mind up, you're contradicting yourself. One minute you say don't install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and then you're making videos showing how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. That is right. This is a how-to video on how to do something. At the end of the day, 
it's up to you whether you go ahead and install Windows 11 on that unsupported hardware. Myself, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to go ahead and do it, people have done it and people are using Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and they're getting all their updates and they're having no issues at all. As long as you understand the risks and you want to go ahead and do it, that's your choice at the end of the day. But this video is how you can do it. It's not a video on saying you should do it. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section down below whether you've upgraded to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and how long you've been running it for. I think it will really help some people out. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.